this is yours. Is that right? Be safe too. You too, man. Yo, yo, can you? Woo. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy, Fresh Cuts. You know, I'm not going to do too much talking. Y'all already seen the bag. Got that Saks Fifth right here. Y'all seen the in-store pickup. You know, y'all know it's the real deal. You know, I'm not, you know, nothing fugazi over here. Nothing fake for you guys. Everything is real, y'all see that? Got the Moose Knuckle, the Canada Goose Killer, the Montclair Pillar. Let's open it, man, let's go. And just to remind people, I'm six foot, I'm 160 pounds, so I got the medium. And this is the Moose Knuckle Sterling. I'm on the Moose Knuckle website, moosenucklecanada.com, and this is the Sterling Parka. 1095 US. I had to get the white fox fur. This is called the blue fox. I just think it looks so clean. This is navy blue. Like I said, this is a medium. You know, see that zipper. Like I said, this is a medium, guys. I'm six foot, 160 pounds. Just know that they have different uh, colors for each one. You know, so if you buy a sterling in the blue, navy blue, chances are you getting this charcoal look, this charcoal badge. It's pretty slim, you know, because they change within all their coats. They try to make everyone unique. So that's something that I learned along the way. You know, you got your silver buttons on each corner. Everything is nice and perfect, stitching so well. Uh, on the back, same thing. You got your hood adjustment. Very nice, man. And you can see, you can honestly see there's no uh, fur on the hood. Everything is attached to here. So that's also something that you might want to look at when you first buy a jacket. Yeah, man, the Sterling is way different than the 3Q. It has the buttons on the shoulder pads. Um, on the 3Q, I think it's a little quilted right here. And they also have buttons right here for the 3Q. And the idea of having the moose knuckle is pretty much being light, but still heavy duty at the same time. So basically, you know how when you have a North Face coat and you're hearing, like you hear all this animation every time you move. Whereas this material, this nylon material, it doesn't do that. And it's still heavy duty though. This, cat, this coat is still heavy. Just for it to be a medium, it is still heavy. But the idea is to be slim fit and make it so that you don't feel like you having a lot of movements than you're, what you're already making. So I thought that was pretty cool, you know? That's kind of like the new wave. That's how Montclair is doing it. That's how Canada Goose is doing it. So another thing is with the hood. On the Sterling jacket, you actually have to take the hood off. If you can't, just take the fur off, I meant. So that's something that I learned about it. The pockets, very warm, very warm. And the pockets down here also are warm. You know, you have your pocket warmers, your hand warmers. Come along with it, most knuckles. Honestly, we're warm AF and bracelet style without sacrificing function. That's what it looks like. Don't take our word for it. You have to go along. Very nice. Stay warm. I like how everything is in a nice black finish. Very high quality cards. You know, it doesn't feel cheap at all you know they really care about their products you know in case you're a fashion head like me you know maybe to the average person they don't really care about it but this really shows how much uh they take into their craft all right and it's about that time we go into the interior of the jacket top downfill moose knuckles canada 
I don't know why that stitching is actually messed up. I don't know. I never checked that before. I might have to know, like, Saks Fifth, what's up with that? All right. So, down below on the left side, you have your pocket. And straight off the top, this feel way better than the Canada Goose pocket, for sure. You know, when I, when I see a lot of YouTube reviews, I don't really see people reviewing the tags. But um, this is basically all the, you know, the ways to clean this coat. Tell you about how to wash your fur and quality, yada, yada, yada. You know, you guys can pause the video for that. And everything. And then on the back, you have your NFC tag to authenticate. All right. And we're going to try that right now. I have my phone right here. Let's see if it worked. Uh, let me put the, my brightness is up. Apologize, but here it goes. Uh, yep, there you go. Got the tag right there. See, it's coming through. And also on the left side, you also have your moose knuckle, medium, very nice stitching, very nice pocket. And you pretty much got your phone pocket, whatever you want. Come with extra buttons. Pocket is pretty deep, man. As you can see, put your phone in there, your wallet, anything you need right then and there, you know? Details, the stitching is perfect. Nothing is out of place, nothing looks suspicious. And on your, the right side of the jacket, you also have this tiny little secret compartment. And you can pretty much just put anything in here. It's a very, very deep pocket. I can put my whole hand in it. It's a little secret compartment. You know, that's specifically for your wallet. All right, you guys, this is how the coat looks with it not being zipped. I forgot to mention the knitted sleeves that it has, very good touch. And also you have your zippers, you know, just for styling or to make it fit with the jacket. You know, maybe you want a baggier fit, but I'm gonna keep it up. All right, and very good uh, material on the zippers too. Very nice, you know, makes the coat look very, very stylish. And guys, this coat is super, super hot, man. Like, it's roughly about 60 degrees outside, and I'm like, yo, this this coat is extremely warm. I could tell, you know, winter time is around the corner. I can't wait to really test it out to a full capacity. That's how it looked with it not being closed up all the way. You know, I could definitely see somebody rocking the coat just like this because. You know, unless it's really, really cold outside, like negative degrees, I don't think you really have to zip your whole coat up. Pocket warmers look very nice. You know, I got pretty big hands, so it could fit all the way inside. Also, the pocket warmers down below feel amazing as well. The goal is for the coat to be slim fit, you know. You don't want a baggier coat. You want something that, you know, you feel like it's not suffocating you. It's not too much weight, it's nice, it's easy, it's durable. You know, you can make a lot of movements in this. And like I said, you don't hear that noise when you just make certain movements, you know? Because these buttons do make a little bit of noise. It's not too, it's not that bad, but that's something that I did pick up while I was wearing the coat. The, the details, the, the materials on this thing is, is very smooth, man. Like. I don't know, it just makes you feel like a boss, you know, it changes your demeanor, especially with the white fur, you know. All right, now I'm showing you guys fully zipped up. I have the top buttoned up and I have the bottom buttoned up. I didn't bother the other buttons, but it still looks very nice. You put the coat on, uh, the hood on, I'm sorry. Right now, I'm gonna fasten these just to give you a closer look. And 
And once again, guys, I'm really warm in this coat, man. This coat is definitely going to keep you warm, I can tell. Like I said earlier, this is definitely the Canada Goose Killer. The Montclair Killer, you know. I'm going to see it. You're going to see a lot of people wearing this jacket, you know. I don't know about the Sterling, but I know a lot of people are going to get the 3Q model jacket. Um, and the same thing I said earlier, um, the 3Q just has the buttons right here that you can show through the jacket. The Sterling hides the buttons. And I feel like that gives it a cleaner look. And don't worry too much about the badge. You know, some of them call, uh, some of them come in this charcoal colorway. Some of them come in the, I seen the aluminum gray. I seen the gold tone. You know, they have all different types of uh, shades. So I would suggest buying it in person if you can. But if not, um, like I said, I'm six foot, 160 pounds. This is slim fit to the bone, uh, and this is a medium, you know? Um, I hope that helps you guys out. It's super warm, super, like, I feel protected by the wind, you know? Like, the wind doesn't bother me, and I've seen a lot of people on YouTube, they do videos of them in uh, snow. I would definitely do an update on my coat, uh, and st stay tuned. I'm gonna do a Montclair versus Canada Goose versus Moose Knuckle, so, it's going to be very interesting. Comfort, the style, everything. I'm going to break all that down, you know. Stay tuned for the future. Make sure you guys grab it. It is $1,095 US dollars. Um, like I said, it's going to sell out. It's going to sell out as soon as it hit the stores, you know. As soon as people find out about it. Um, I know it's still a little bit new. But, you know, you guys are searching this code up. So, y'all know about it. So do yourself a favor and get yourself this coat, man. Um, the navy blue just calms it down. I like the black one. I feel like a lot of people are going to go for the, uh, this aluminum gray and the gold just to show off. But I feel like this is very grown man-ish, but still laid back like a teenager type of wear. Very street, but still, you know what I'm saying? Still casual. Like, comment, and subscribe, please. Let's get this algorithm going. I want to go to the top. You know, I'm at a thousand subscribers right now, so I want to get that 10,000. I know you guys can let me, I know you guys, I know you guys ain't no haters, right? Y'all not no haters, so make sure you subscribe, make sure you like, comment, and uh, I'm gonna do a walkthrough just to let you guys see how dope this coat really is. And uh, I'll at your boy.